All right, guys. So I got the other chilies finally. We had a mix up on the um, order, so it took 24 hours. Actually a little bit less than that to get some more. So right now I am soaking the rest of those chilies. I just took a couple out of each. Um, I'm waiting for my hot water to go because I'm gonna pour some hot water in here. Um, I think I only took like two or three out of each one and stuck it in here. And so they need to rehydrate. Sorry, this is part of the peppers um i need to rehydrate these and then we're going to be adding a bunch of seasonings into this we're going to be adding adding cinnamon thyme um peppercorns oregano cumin salt adobo and um we already have let's see we have our ghost peppers we have our ancho peppers we have our guadalajara peppers and new mexico peppers those are all in here we may add um some other peppers in here depending on what the flavors of this is um we may not because it's pretty juicy. I mean, pretty hot already in here. And I don't want to kill my stomach and make it more issues. Um, I also have one onion and I have like several bulbs of garlic in there. Honestly, um, you don't probably need that much, but I like garlic flavor in my Mexican food. So that's why I put less garlic in there. You can do whatever you want. So um, I just took my tea kettle and I just pour my tea kettle over the chilies like this. And then I take a lid and I put them over like that and let them seep for a while. Meanwhile, Those are doing their thing. Um, you can get your blender going. So while we're 
thinking about that stuff. I already put my meat in here for eight hours and it's still going. So with this, I'm gonna add our seasoning. This is oregano. You're gonna have to dig this out later. So if you don't wanna dig it out, then you may wanna think about putting it in some cheesecloth and sticking it in there. That's an option too. I'm gonna to dig it out later. So I'm okay with that. Um, I'm actually gonna add one more. So. And Adobo has a bunch of stuff in it. This already has a little oregano in it and turmeric and stuff, so just stick it in here. And then cumin. We're gonna salt this real good because I haven't salted it, salted, salted any of the meat yet or anything else. We're gonna put some thyme in here. Also, maybe if I can open the package. I have extra bone broth if I need it too. So it's sitting here just in case. seeping and then we can blend them up and stick them in here and one other thing we gotta stick in here we gotta stick a little 
little bit of apple cider vinegar, just a smidge for a little bit of acidity. So we have this going on and then after the chilies are ready to go, we're going to sit this in here. This is probably going to cook all day long um, with the meat. And then I might also get some of the liquid out of here because it looks like it's a lot of liquid. So we'll see as it boils down to if we need to add more seasonings. So I tend to leave my seasonings out here. Um, just in case so just let this go all day and then you'll have yourself some really nice um taco meat. um we're gonna make tacos today so Okay guys, so we are going to make our whole taco setup here, or yeah, so basically I'm going to take these and we're going to dip it in the sauce. Whoop. And we're going to dip it on here. I'm doing this one-handed, so that's why it fell apart. You may not want to use this one. Maybe put him on the side. Come on. Low bitch. Low bitch. I'm going to keep this down low. Okay, let's try this again. Into the sauce. On to the black top. And I'm going to do multiple at a time because I had a whole week's worth of tacos to do. But also, we want to have some for tonight. So, I'm going to put you guys up. later and then set it off to the side since it messed it up. Thank 
Taco, 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 make a taco, taco.
all kinds of things with it. You can make quesadilla. You can make all kinds. So it's all nice and cheesy and yummy. It's really hot, so it needs to cool off. But what you do do is you can eat it however you want. Even just take some of the um, sauce and stick it in there. And then you dip it in here. Um, you can eat guacamole. On the side. However you like to eat it. Well, this is how I like to eat it. So. have to try this it is yummy so thanks for watching today's food aspire home and garden i appreciate each and every one of you and please like subscribe to the videos and i appreciate all your wonderful comments please feel free to leave a comment down below and also thanks to um one of our sponsors today our collaborations um with boca peppers um, in South Carolina um, they're awesome they gave us the peppers for this and it is really spicy and so um, I would fire you I'd get you some get yourself some ghost peppers if you like spicy they yummy and also percentage off if you um do order some so think about that we'll see you next time on food aspire home and garden have a wonderful day